Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G playing. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's man. I want to ask you though. Mm -hmm. Do y'all do y'all have another? We put hey, cause I know some stuff ain't came out. Look, head. look, look. I know. Yeah, oh. like, like we work, we working on, you know, we working on something. Okay. We working okay. on something. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I look, look. I, 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 I don't want to get into yeah. deep, in, in, yeah. but, but we gonna shock the world again with some, something, something great. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So we got some stuff going. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now this, mm -hmm. this brings me to my next question. Um, yeah. Bro, um, I've been doing interviews with a lot of people mm -hmm. recently, and for some reason. Lit Fat just been coming up lately. Hey, long um, live man, Fiza, bro. Man, shout out to Lit Fat. R.I.P. Lit, Lit Fat. Man. I was with, um, I say Lady Kim with Trill. You know, she signed the Trill yep. back in the day. Mm -hmm. We talked about Lit Fat. Mm -hmm. Zay going crazy. Mm -hmm. His interview's going crazy. We talked about Lit Fat. Mm -hmm. um, I was with Gutter TV mm -hmm. about a week ago. Mm -hmm. We talked about Lit Fat. He, mm -hmm. he just was been coming up lately. Yeah. Um, Lady Kim revealed to me that Lil Fat has a lot of unreleased music. Yeah. Nobody hasn't heard it. Yeah, facts. Um, do you? Cause you y'all was like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all right. y'all was inseparable years yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you? Like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I know I, I probably got a few, few tracks that nobody never heard, but I've been sitting on for about 10, 12 years. Mm -hmm. Do you have any of those records? Yeah, I got a, I got a few records. Cause like I said, me and me and Fat, bro, me and Fat. Stayed working in the studio, whether we was down here in Baton Rouge or if we was out in Atlanta, like bro, like we was recording so much record, so much, so many songs, and got so many records that, you know, we've been waiting on. We've pretty much been waiting on to see if the 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 CEOs of Trill Entertainment going to be able to release it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's stuff that I have, but. You know, I don't want to go against the grain of of, 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 of of putting it out there. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You know what I'm saying? Un until they give me the consent or let me know that, hey, we're we going to run with it or whatever like that. But it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff that I, I have that a lot of people don't have. And also, you know, uh, before he passed, he was working with uh, Shop with Ken, too. Mm. So a lot of records that uh, that, 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 that's, 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 that they have. Like in the archives, you know, uh, Shop with Ken have a lot of uh, uh, input with those records as well too. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of music that Fat got. Like we've been work, like like I said again, bro. We we've been working a lot before he passed. Like we've been working a lot, man. We've been working from the time the studio was out here to uh, when we went to the country. They <laughs> they 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 lay around there and tricked us. You hear me? So look, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this here. Man, they tricked us, bro. It was me. Shout out to my brother, J. Buck. J. Buck on the track, man. Shout out to J. Buck, bro. A talented producer that's more than just us doing music. He's a brother to me. You know what I'm saying? But it was me, J. Buck, and I forgot this guy's name that was with us. But Mel laid around there and hit us up with some, some stuff like, man, we going somewhere to where, like, I don't know how he said it, but he had he convinced us that we needed to go and ride out there with them on some stuff to where like, I don't know if we was gonna get some money or something like that, but he made us leave. Hey, Mel done lay around there and had us in the country, in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know where we was at because our phones wasn't even working where we was at. You feel what I'm saying? Man, this man locked us in a house with a studio in there. You hear me? Yeah. At, at, at Ballhead House, Ballhead, they, man, People that, that that been with Trill, that know Trill, know about Bowhead. You feel what I'm saying? We at Bowhead House. Man, it, it wasn't no way. Bruh, we was locked in the house to where, like, we couldn't even get out. Like, it was deadbolted on both sides. So you ain't had the knob. Man, they done locked us in there, and we stayed there for about a week, man. Man, we ain't had no contact. We couldn't get in touch with nobody. We was just locked up in there. And by us being up in there like that, man, we ain't had no other choice but to work in the studio and drop music all day. Because we locked up in there. Man, them people, man, man, <laughs> Mel, hey, Mel had us in that motherfucker for a whole week, man. Man, but we try to put it together because I ain't going to lie, he ain't leave us in there starving. I will say that. He made sure we went to Walmart, got sandwich meat, all kind of little stuff that we need to snack on to be up in there. 
Man, that man told us we we coming right back and then left us in there for a whole week, you hear me? Damn. Man, we like, man, what the hell? So when we finally got out there, boy, we felt like we we just got home, we just left from jail or something. Damn. Like we just got out of jail, out of prison somewhere. Man, they, but I seen why that he did that. Because he seen something with us. The the whole chemistry with me and J Buck and um and Fat. He knew that already. So he he did what in it, I felt like, to us being young, looking at the situation like that, it'll probably be like, man, that's fucked up that he had that, that he did that like that. But he did it for a reason. And now that I done got older and, and, and think back, I realized what he was doing. He seen that the chemistry was there with me and Fat. Every time we linked up, we always was dropping good music. So he took us outside of where we comfortable at and took us somewhere to where like it won't even be no distractions. You feel what I'm saying? So how many records you think y'all did? Then? Man, we did over ten. We did over ten records. We did over ten. Produced over. from scratch. Yes. He Pro wrote. Every he wrote everything. I might have came in with some hooks and stuff like that, pitched ideas and everything like that, and we recorded it right there. You know what I'm saying? At that at that session. Mm -hmm. I mean, have any of those songs came out yet? Oh. oh. They might have some little leakage out somewhere, you know what I'm saying, with just lip lip parts, but not the whole oh, thing. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? I was going to ask you, like, what big record came out that session? That's what I was going to ask you. But Bro, it, it was so it. many. I couldn't even really tell you off my head, like, what. But I just knew that we was in there working, and a lot of them records that we did was raw. Ooh. Real raw. And the fact that, like, bro, your mixing and mastering ability is so great. Man. I've been, I can listen to all fast stuff now, and right. it sounds just as good or probably better right. than the records that's coming out today. Man, bro, it's a blessing, bro. And I'm going to tell you something, too. Like, a lot of them records that I did mixed and stuff like that, like, they ran with what I already done done. But Dave, that was an engineer for, uh, for Trill Entertainment, like... He was going in and just kind of making it enhanced to where like it'll, it'll sound like real, like like worldwide sound. He, he he really spread it out to where like it sounded real good. You know what I'm saying? So like like majority of other uh, other records that I done, I did it mixed it and mastered it myself. But they also yeah. sounded my music or whatever like that. Cause you got some engineers that don't understand your sound, and they try to make it too clean to where like. It'll take the life from it. You know what I'm saying? It'll take it'll take so much life from out the music to where like when you hear it, you be like, man, no, I want to revert it back to the last mix that is that it sounded before it got like that. You know what I'm saying? Like and even with uh with the uh uh the back to br, which we I know we gonna yeah. get into that, but just talking about just with the mixing and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you got some engineers. That might not understand how we mix our records. You feel what I'm saying? We like to have that grit. We like to have certain sounds sound a little muddy, just a little bit, so you can really feel the emotion and the expression from not even just the lyrics, just with the beat. Because that's a whole language within itself when you got a good beat. You know what I'm saying? Like you got stuff like people that'll make beats and it, and it be good, but you don't hear that emotion. It, 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 it'll pretty much sound like somebody that went in and just was just placing stuff there. It ain't really just as if, like how I would get on the board and just really hear what's in my head and really express how I'm feeling what's in my head and, and, and write it all down.